to another session of the PM View webinar series. Before our speaker starts today, I've got just a few housekeeping details that I'd like to share with our listeners. All listeners today have a muted line. If you have a question to our speaker about his presentation, or if you're having any issues with how you're viewing the presentation itself, please go to the question and answer section on the webinar control panel at the right side of your screen. All questions will be held into the end and addressed by the speaker during the Q&A session. I would now like to formally welcome you once more to the Product Management View webinar series. I'm Chelsea Woodhead from Rima Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar series, and I'll be your moderator. It is my pleasure to introduce Michael R. Hopkin, who will be giving the presentation, Lead on Purpose, Applying Leadership Principles to Product Management during today's webinar. Michael has over 13 years of experience working as a software engineer and a product manager for companies ranging from startups to major corporations. Michael currently works as Director of Product Management at Alianza and is responsible for the company's product strategy and direction. He's currently focusing on building sound product practices in an agile development environment for hosted SaaS software. He is also affiliated with Creation Tree Coaching, where he works as a leadership coach. Michael is a proven communicator who has repeatedly demonstrated the ability to gain the trust and commitment of a large, cross-visional work group. He holds a BS degree in accounting and a Master of Information Systems Management, both from Brigham Young University. In his spare time, he enjoys running marathons and camping with his family. I'm going to go ahead and give Michael presenter status of the webinar today, and with no further ado, take it away, Michael. Thank you, Chelsea. I'm going to try and get this going correctly here. I want to thank uh, the, the folks at RIMA. I appreciate the, the product management view and appreciate them giving me the opportunity to, uh, to present to you today. As, uh, as I also want to thank all of you who are listening to the presentation, either today live or who will listen to it later on a recorded version. I appreciate the, uh, uh, your, your coming to my, pre to my webinar. As Chelsea mentioned, my presentation today is titled Lead on Purpose, Applying Leadership Principles to Product Management. My goal is to help you become the de facto leader in your company and within the teams that you work with. I want to start out just with some general information, um, and, and I, I decided I would, I would start with a, a definition, and so I looked up the word leader on the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. And I came up, uh, I found out, first of all, that it dates back to the 14th century. I didn't know when that word came about, but it was the 14th century. And the second definition I thought was particularly pertinent to what we're going to talk about today. A leader is a person who leads as a guide or a conductor. A person who directs a military force or unit. As I've done a lot of reading in the last few years about leadership and about uh, different aspects of, of great people, Military comes up a lot, so there's there's a lot that we can learn from military forces and, and leaders. But the one that I thought fits more the most appropriately for what we're talking about today is a person who has a commanding authority or influence. To become a leader, you need to have a commanding authority and you need to be able to influence people. I also uh, went to Wikipedia. That's become one of my great friends. Uh, the, I love Wikipedia. And I looked up the word leadership. And I pulled three of the, the definitions off of there. The, the, the word leadership can refer to the ability to get people to follow voluntarily. Now, that comes into play definitely in product management. And we'll talk about that a bit later. Also, entities that perform one or more acts of leading. The one I like the best on this one, though, is the ability to affect human behavior so as to accomplish a mission designated by the leader. So uh, leadership is about affecting human behavior. Now, that can be good or bad. Hopefully, uh, well, I, not hopefully, the things that we'll talk about today will 